Labor Day right around the corner. I'm Lauren Simonetti. Do you have plans for a vacation? Maybe a quick getaway? Well, if you are a CEO, maybe you don't have plans. The Recruiter Corn Ferry says more bosses hate vacation because they just can't seem to disconnect from the office. What if it runs perfectly fine without them? That's a scary thought. Here with me now to discuss is a CEO himself, Robert Moore of RJ Metrics. Good to see you, Robert. Thanks. Great to be here. So you take vacation. Of course I do, yes. Don't you want the office to run okay without you? Absolutely. In fact, I think it's really <laughs> critical. I mean, if you step away from yeah. the office and it doesn't run well, I think it, uh, you've got problems even when you're not on vacation. So do you think the reason bosses aren't taking all of their vacation days or anywhere close to all of their vacation days is because they're worried that they are dispensable or that there will be a disaster in their absence? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question and I think it's a, it's a bit of a mix, but we try and mitigate that at RJ Metrics by mm -hmm. having this thing called the bus factor, which is factor. basically how many people at the company would need to get hit by a bus in order to have <laughs> right. something, something not be covered. The and bus factor. If there's a bus factor that's lower than two on something, then we really need to get more people who are involved, engaged with that part of the business, and able to take over if someone's on vacation or, or out for any other reason. Well, tell me about your company then. RJ Metrics is a data company? Exactly. Uh, we help online businesses make smarter decisions using their data, and we build a, a software okay. tool that does that. Um, so we're very, very data-driven, and mm -hmm. I think even in calculating uh, you know, how much time away is, is smart, uh, we try to use the data whenever we can. Gotcha. Corn Ferry did this survey, which, which I'm discussing. Um, we can pull up a full screen. Do executives work on vacation? And you can see the numbers. Only 3%, that number all the way at the bottom, only 3% say not only do they not work on vacation, they're able to completely disconnect. Mm -hmm. You need to refresh yourself, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and I think also there's this societal thing that's at play there where a lot of people, CEOs or not, are just used to checking their phones. Uh, they are, if they're on vacation, maybe they're checking Facebook or they're checking Instagram or they're on Twitter. Right. But the next stream is that, that work email. And even if you're not afraid that the place is on fire, it can be really interesting and stimulating to, to stay connected. So how many times a day do you get in touch with the office, whether just checking email or actually physically calling the office yeah. when you're on vacation? I make a very deliberate choice to have specific windows when I'm doing that, and I do that when I'm not on vacation. So being inside of my inbox all day can get you in a spot on vacation where your vacation is just email with a view. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas it's much more healthy to have specific windows where if you know that things can run well for a few hours without you, you get to knock out all your email at once. It's very efficient and gives you these big chunks of slack time to focus right. on things that are more core to the business. And also, when you sometimes if you don't do any work for a week, two weeks, whatever, and you return to the office, it seems overwhelming. And sure. then it's kind of like, well, why did I take that vacation? I personally like to just go through my inbox every night on Absolutely. vacation. Absolutely. That's a really, really healthy really way to do work, it. work, but I just kind of know what I'm going to have to work on when I return. Exactly. No surprises. And it, it really helps put things in perspective. When you only have that half hour or that hour, right. you prioritize very, very well. Um, do you call your office ever when you're away? Very rarely. Very rarely. So they yeah. know there's a problem when you do. The people uh, who are at work. Sure. Uh, if, I were, <laughs> if I were to call on the telephone, uh, people are going to be picking up, that's for sure. We like to criticize the president for, you know, calling airstrikes on Iraq and then going on vacation to Martha's Vineyard. That's an extreme example, maybe? Uh, it probably is. Uh, you know, with, without the context, it's hard to say, but I think, you know, there are yeah. executives that, in a lot of cases, will argue that when they're on vacation, they have a clarity of thought that is unlike something that happens when they're in the office because they've, uh, they've got really no distractions and they're able to think about big picture things in a more clear way. Right, and I also feel that the experiences in your life, especially if you take um, vacations that involve a little bit more than just going to the beach, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're in a company, a global company, if you're going to other parts of the world and you're really experiencing those parts of the world. Sure. You pay attention to how people behave, and that can affect, you know, your sales Definitely. and decisions that you make. Definitely. I think observing the behavior of people in international markets uh, mm -hmm. and really just understanding, you know, the, the work-life balance that exists in other parts of the world can really provide a, a good amount of perspective that might change the way you want to run your business. Good to see you. Everybody, you. that was Robert Moore of RJ Metrics. So take a vacation, CEO or not. I'm Lauren Simonetti. See you later.